welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here and today I'm going to be deep cleaning my sofa now I'm not gonna lie I don't think I've ever deep cleaned my sofa I have spot cleaned it and things like that but I've never deep cleaned it it is a couple of years old now so that is really gross and we're gonna give it a good clean today so um, yeah basically there are so many stains on it from the kids they've either spilled drinks on it and things like that and people always say to me Lisa how do you keep your sofa so clean and I'm like well there are a few stains on there and there really is so there's lots of like watermarks and things like that so it's a bit of trial and error today I'm gonna show you the before now we're gonna get cleaning and let's see what it looks like after so fingers crossed it goes all right it's a beautiful hot day today so hopefully it'll dry quickly as well but yeah let's get started okay so this is the current state of the sofa it's first thing in the morning the kids have been down here there are cushions everywhere let's just get close up and personal to this sofa sorry sofa to do this to you but we're going to show all of your floors today we have got watermarks probably like drinks and things here this is often where the kids will sit so there's a few spillages here and i'm hoping that we're going to be able to clean that today so over here we've also got some more kind of watermarks or drink marks there spillages also here we've got some there's literally like spillages mainly it's mainly spillages rather than food marks but we do have the odd kind of food mark as well and um, we've got some more kind of marks and stains here also this is a big stain here that we need to get clean this is going to be a little transformation today over here it's not too bad but we're going to give that a good spot clean and wipe down as well if we just come back a little bit let me show you the overall look of the sofa okay so this is the sofa before Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of the cushion covers. So luckily our ones you can remove, they do have a zip on them. So I'm going to take all of those and I'm going to put them in the washing machine. Now this is the first time putting them in the washing machine, so it's a bit of trial and error. So fingers crossed they come out alright. I'm going to put them on like a low heat wash. I'm probably going to put them on like a 30 degree wash and fingers crossed it will get all of the marks out. So let's take them all off now. covers off now these base ones here have this kind of black felt it feels a bit like felt so I'm a little bit concerned about putting this in the washing machine I'm gonna test it with just one of the covers first this one is the corner base cover and it has got a large stain on it which I'm gonna show you before we put it in let me find it so if you can see it's got that kind of round watermark there or drinks mark or spillage I'm not sure what it is so we're going to put this in the washing machine and I'm going to put it on a 30 degree wash so I've just put that on a 30 degree 20 minute wash so it's a quick wash and I want to see how it's going to come out I don't really want to put it on a long cycle I'm going to keep it short and hopefully that will work if not we will reassess the situation once I see how the cushion covers come out so now we've got rid of the cushions let me show you how gross it is underneath them crumbs food everywhere we've got wrappers we've got some toys some clothes under here i even found a dummy clips so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to vacuum all of this and get it all clean before we then start spot cleaning to vacuum i'm going to be using my shark duo clean and i'm using this smaller attachment at the moment just to go around all of the edges and then i'm going to go in with this one here crumbs off of the sofa it's looking much better now with the same attachment I'm just going to go over all of the fabric just to get rid of any dust before we start cleaning it right so I've just got the cover out of the wash I have to say the felt has stayed intact so it looks fine and then the actual cover itself let's have a little look see if it's got rid of that stain wow i don't know where that stain was now let me have a quick look 
well I think it's got rid of the stain which is amazing so I'm going to put the rest of them in the wash now I'm going to hang this one outside and then we're going to get on with cleaning the actual arms of the sofa so I've just put half of the cushion covers in the wash now and now I'm going to do the cleaning on the arms and everywhere else so I'm going to use this product this is elbow grease and you can use this on fabrics metals plastics and it's apparently the only cleaner you'll ever need so I've used this for quite a while as you can see there's not much left and I really really like it but I've never used it on my sofa so let's see how that goes I'm going to use it with a damp cloth I'm going to spray it completely onto the sofa let it kind of set for a bit and then I'm going to wipe it off with some warm water so that is what I'm going to do so with this product it says to spray it directly onto the stain so that is what I'm going to do I'm just going to spray it on like so I'm going to actually just spray it on the whole of the arm just to make sure I cover all bases I've also heard that this works better as well if you kind of leave it for a few minutes so it says spray directly onto stain and then wash as usual elbow grease will not evaporate in the washing machine so bear that one in mind now i'm just working the product into the fabric and i'm going to remove any stains i'm also going to dampen this now so i'm going to wet this cloth and then go over it again i'm really impressed with how it's removed this stain already but the moment of truth will be when it does dry completely so i'm just going to wipe the rest of the sides down this is just a warm damp cloth now i'm not going to apply any more product down here because i don't have any stains so it's not necessary process on the arm over here because there are a few little marks on there as well and I want to make sure it's super clean so whilst I'm waiting for everything to wash and dry I'm going to change some cushion covers so I've got these these are really old this actually came with the sofa originally so I'm going to swap these out because I want a little bit of more of a neutral feel in here and I found these gorgeous ones off of Laradu so I thought I would go for that it's got a really gorgeous texture to it it's just a plain cream cushion cover this is such an easy way to kind of update a room to so literally just buy some new covers or some new throws and it will really give your room a nice refresh. I much prefer these because they're a little bit more neutral and it just gets rid of the pink. I don't want too much pink in here. I don't mind a little bit. I just prefer having this more neutral scheme at the moment, more natural colours, blacks, greys, those kind of tones. I still keep all of the covers, but I just kind of swap them out as and when. So those pink ones might come back out at around February time when it's Valentine's Day. This is also a great way to update your home for free as well. So if you've got loads of cushion covers already, pop out the ones you've got in some rooms and then move them into another. The next ones that I've got, so I've got these ones here. These are from Laura Ashley but um, the covers that I have bought for them are slightly small so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to squeeze it in but I'm going to give it a try this again is a really gorgeous one again from Laradu I just like the natural colours in it and I really like the stripes as well so let's see if it's going to fit these ones here they're like feather filled so there's feathers everywhere honestly I'm going to have to go and do this outside when I come back I'll show you if I've managed to put that cushion cover on okay so i managed to get the cushion in and oh my god i love this so much how lovely is that cover and i think the fact that the cushion is slightly bigger inside just gives it that extra filling that it needed so i can just do a little karate chop and it looks gorgeous just like that so yeah really happy with those so i've just come out in the garden i've just taken my first load of washing out so i'm going to hang them all up now and let them dry i've just put the other load in and then once that is done they should all be finished so i'm really really pleased with it so far i'm just going to hang everything out and then i'll speak to you in a bit what the water was looking like after I cleaned the sofa I thought I'd show you before I pour it away hi guys so it's a bit later on in the day now it is literally like one of the hottest days we've had in so long 
I'm so hot. The covers have all dried now. They've been out in the sunshine, so I'm gonna go and put those back on. Okay, so the sofa is all clean now and all dressed again. So I've got my new cushion covers on there, which I think look gorgeous. I'm super happy with that. So we've got rid of the pink now and we've gone for more of a neutral theme, which I think looks beautiful. These cushions here, this one, this one, and these two, and this one here, were from La Redoute. And then the black ones are from H&M. I think it looks really gorgeous. So if I come over here, I'll show you a little bit more of a close up. So right here, I cleaned this. I gave this a wipe down with elbow grease and as you can see, it's dried really beautifully and there are no marks on there. The covers that I washed in the washing machine have dried really lovely as well. There are no marks anymore and it's completely clean, which is great. If you remember before, this had loads and loads of different watermarks and drinks marks on there and that is all clean now, just using the elbow grease and warm water. And then over here we also had a big mark as well, which is now gone. They're all gone now, it's all like completely clean. Also we had like a big stain here. And all I did was put this on a 30 degree wash. So if you've got covers similar to mine, then it may work, but I would definitely try it out on one slip first. And now we've got a lovely clean sofa, which I've been waiting to do for so long. I've been meaning to do it for so long now. And I'm really glad that I finally got to do it. At the moment it's a great time to start cleaning your sofas because the weather is absolutely beautiful at the moment. So definitely clean your sofa if you've been meaning to do it for a while. I feel so much better for doing ours. Like I said, I had never fully deep cleaned our sofa. It was mainly just spot cleaning and I hadn't done it for such a long time. So it really, really needed doing. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And let me know what else you would like to see me deep clean in our house in the future because I would love to do some more kind of more specific cleaning jobs for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Tick tock, the clock keeps ticking. I don't know what I should do, and I wish you would be right here with me.